Hey Rumpers, got another fun deck to show you. Um, and so this one is based around three cards essentially. Voice of Balance, Old Salty's Assault, and Forward Camp. Um, so since you got your Mud Crabs and your Voice of Balance, I call this deck Crabs. So balanced. Um, so a lot of the deck is based around uh, activating that voice of balance, activating that forward camp, and just trying to, um, you know, get all these buffs on your mud crabs. Um, so it's got like a nice blend of go wide from the old salties and go tall from voice of balance and things like Alfique um, that, you know, give you a lot of threats, a lot of ways to win the game. Um, so, because we're playing Ford Camp, we got a bunch of supports. Uh, Skuma Cat's Whimsy. Um, so, Skuma Cat's Whimsy, it's not like the absolute powerhouse that it is um, in the Addicted to Skuma deck that I showed, which, by the way, you should totally check out. The deck's still so fun. Still can't stop playing that deck. But um, Skuma Cat's Whimsy, it's mostly here for cheap activation of Ford Camp and Voice of Balance. But it does get you some discounts on things like Steel Dagger, Fabricate Card, Mud Crab Card, and uh, your Sword and Dagger from the Sentinel Reclaimer. Um, so uh, we also have Corsair Ship and Fervor, and then the Worldly Wanderer is pulling a support as well. Um, so. That's how you get your supports for the Voice of Balance. Um, so the items are mostly going to come from Crown Quartermaster, Sentinel Reclaimer, or Corsair Ship. You can see there's no actual items in the deck, so uh, you need those item generators in order to get um, Voice of Balance. Um, of course, if you have Corsair Ship, that automatically um, activates both your support and the item for voice of balance so then you just need um that action um so uh nice synergy discerning thief you guys know i love this card so discerning thief is also really good with voice of balance because um voice of balance just needs the thing to be in your discard you don't have to play it so like a lot of times say I'm trying to activate my voice of balance and so I'll discard something like a piercing javelin or something um, just to get it in my discard so I can activate the voice of balance or you know discard a support or discard an item um, that you need to have in your discard to activate that voice of balance. Uh, Discerning Thief really good for that and of course you know we have Crown Quartermaster and Sentinel Reclaimer and Mud Crab Merchant so um, there should be stuff for you to discard with a Discerning Thief. Or use Discerning Thief to discard Reflective Automaton to activate your Alphique. Um, so that's uh, mostly it. Um, so Vastry just here has another nice go wide bomb. Um, you know, if you have a couple of Corsair ships or Fervors or something on board, or your Fifth Legion Trainer, and then uh, drop down Vastry, she can just be like, a, you know, one girl bomb. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the deck. So I did want to show you I'm, uh, on an eight-game win streak with it right now. And I also just want to show you I got a 12-game win streak with my Addicted to Skuma deck, um, which I was very happy with. So I just hit Legend playing um, the Smud Crab deck. Um, but before that, I was just tearing up the ladder with my Grumite Flesh Sculpture deck. Um, I love that deck so much. <laughs> if you haven't watched Addicted to Skuma, go watch that, because it's so good. Um, like, it's just so much, it's still so much fun, you know, Skuma Cat's Whimsy and Flesh Sculpture on board, and then play Hit and Run. You just fill your hand with so many random cards. It's like, never, it never grows old. Okay. So up against a monk, ooh, um, you know, usually I would mulligan Alfiq, um, looking for something more low cost. Um, the reflective automaton makes it more tempting. Um, let's just try to keep it. 
Um, maybe I should have put it back. Okay. Um, so I can just... I don't think I need any early pressure. I'll hold on to my ring for now. For the black hat. Time to move. Oh. Let's see. Um Is it play Dune Smuggler or something? Oh wow. <laughs> Mud grabbing to Baron Zaya. Yes, please. Oh I could play Baron Zaya. Um is it too early to play Baron Zaya? Um I'm to me. Might be able to protect her with the lightning bolt. And even if she just hits once, you know, that's a big swing. That was interesting choice. Interesting. Okay, so probably gonna lightning bolt the lethal card. I mean, maybe I should kill the unicorn, but you are full of surprises. I mean, I could also, I mean, Baron's Eye is almost definitely going to die. Mm. I'll see if I can keep her alive. This premium unicorn is so pretty. <laughs> Drop a couple center claimers here. Um, oh yeah, the reflective automaton is not dead yet, so I cannot activate the Alfik. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Hopefully by. Uh, putting enough buffs on the reflective automaton, it'll become a tempting target for them to take out, and then it can activate my Alfik. Okay. Almost can activate that forward camp. But not quite. I don't have lethal, do I? Um, so I have 7 in hand, plus 6, 13. No, not quite. I'm gonna give him a lot of cards here, unfortunately. Um, and even though my Alfik's not activated, I still just want to play it just for the guard. Oh, I'll just take it out. Hmm. Maybe just play it in field. Okay. Um, 
So hopefully they don't pull any major shenanigans this turn. They just play Drain Vitality in their there is Pilfer deck. <laughs> okay. Okay. Looks like a win. Nice. Okay, make that a nine game streak now. Let's see if we can make it ten. Yeah, so <laughs> I didn't get to show you a lot of what the deck is about in that game, because they didn't get uh, Voice of Bounce. I almost got the Ford Camp to activate. I was one support short on the Ford Camp, um, but didn't see the Voice of Balance or the old salties. So let's do another game and see if I can find that Voice of Balance this time. Maybe I'll mulligan a little more uh, aggressively for Voice of Balance. Okay, up against an assassin, and they got the ring. It's always scary to play against assassin on ring. Ooh, okay. Um, I like to keep old salties. Just because it's such a power card. Oh, and there's that forward camp. Okay. So, against an assassin, this deck, this hand is <laughs> a little scary. Um, just because I'd like to have some low-cost stuff. But, you know, against, um, um, okay, let's see what I can get with the Fabricate. I'll save the 5th Legion to play right before the old Salties comes out. Um, want something low cost, so I'll go for the 4, ooh, Drain, yes please. Don't underestimate me. Um... I'm starting to really like Fabricate. Um, I put it in, you know, mostly just to... Um, I can play the forward camp. They don't have support removal, so I can play forward camp. Um, Yeah, I mean, Fabricate, I'm starting to really like this card. Like, usually it can get you actually a pretty useful creature. Because, you know, you get to choose how big it is. You get to choose the ability. Oh, yes. Oh, man. With the old Salties coming out next turn. Um, that course of ship is so sweet. So maybe they're playing Last Gasp. Uh, I probably should have played that in the other lane. That might have been kind of a mistake. Because they can just trade into it with their Thieves Guild. Um, but it looks like they're maybe playing Last last Gasp. Oh, another Ford Camp. I just need to break that rune. A Thorana, oh my god. That's a little scary. Um, I mean, I could go super greedy and play Fifth Legion. Oh my god. Uh yeah, let's let's be greedy. Um cuz then I can get that drained creature out as well. Um I'm trying to think which lane I want to play the fabricant in. Um I don't know how much I care about killing Therana, but I kind of do. Training is over. It's time to act. Um, okay. Let's do it like this. Maybe I should have put that in Shadow just to help myself break that rune. Oh, yes. 
Okay, so I'm gonna hopefully get these big mud crabs out. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, they are pulling some interesting stuff here. Um let's see what I get from mud crab. Ooh, Telvas Magister, pretty cool. Um, okay. And then... I think I might as well play out this dagger. I'll see you dead. This might be Oh, <sighs> okay. My life's getting kind of low, but I have a lot of attack power on board. Hopefully they don't have, like, a ice storm or something. Oh, wow. That's really bad. <laughs> Do not like seeing that white run protector. This is turning into an interesting game. <laughs> I'll say that much. <laughs> okay, very interesting. Um, so I can't quite... I will need to trade both into this, so I'll just do that. And then let's pop these forward cams and see what we get. Um, I mean, theoretically, I could play Corsair ship, but I think I want that Magister out. I just... Need some life. Okay. Let's draw that voice of balance. Come on. I know you're in there. Um. I don't think I care quite enough to jab Thorana. Um. Let's just play Magister. Perhaps we can help one another. <laughs> Tell Bonnie Arcanist well, made sound the alarm. Okay, so I mean, I have a bunch of. Ah, oh, man, I hate that card so much. Oh, zero cost fingers in the deck. That hurts. And they have all those lightning bolts in there, too. Oh, man, they just decimated my board. Okay. Can do a. Bane Lord. Um, so let's kill this thing. Sorry, it had to come to this. Um, so I think I'm playing Alfique and a Mud Crab. Fight like a child. Oh, Lightning Bolt. Oh, not lightning bolt. Okay. Oh, okay. So hopefully this Alfik maybe can even protect my Magister. We'll see what they got. So many skooma cats this game. <laughs> uh, one thing to know, I probably won't play this because if I do draw um, Worldly Wanderer, I don't want to fill up my whole board of supports. And I mean, three skooma cats. I don't need three skooma cats in this deck. That well, m potentially for a mud crab card, I guess, or for fabricate. But Altar of Despair, wow. They are running some spicy stuff. I, I'll give it to them. They got, uh... 
kind of an interesting little last gasp. Um, okay. <laughs> now I can activate this pack though, it's unfortunately. I have the marsh in my face. Okay. This one is oh man. Okay, so that's fast three. That's three would be a bomb, but um, um, okay, yeah, I'll just skip, skip well, rune here. Okay, yeah, so another game, another win. That's a ten-game win streak. Um, so I think I'll leave it at that. I, I'm annoyed at voice of balance for hiding in the deck. It's like <laughs> all decks based on voice of balance. I would have liked to show you the voice of balance come out because it's such a sweet. Um, you know, an 8-8 guard for four can just shut down uh, so many decks. Um, I'm really, really liking that card. Um, but I think I got to call it there for today. So uh, try out the deck. I hope you enjoy it, and I will catch you next time.